The world is not going to end you because are trying I to deflect because I eat a mother yogurt. Look, what? Animals are factory farmed. You're trying to deflect Look, from the fact the world's still that here. veganism protects the environment. Juliet, we're still here. All right, people. So apparently, a vegan activist went on the Piers Morgan show, and we're going to be watching that today. And listen, who knows? Maybe this vegan is able to make good points and articulate themselves properly to communicate the message they want to communicate instead of just going crazy like most of the vegan activists but we're going to be listening to what this vegan has to say it could be insightful it could be stupid let's take a look welcome back to Piers Morgan Uncensored we all know Muller yogurts these creamy treats with crunchy or fruity bits in the corner other equally delicious brands are available but apparently all yogurts are evil they're murderous a vegan charity has released an ad about them that will give you nightmares a warning you might find this disturbing new from killer yogurts the umbilical cord flavor. Produced with only the finest ingredients, the stolen milk of grieving mothers. Taste the torment in every mouthful. Blended with brutality. Be complicit. With killer yogurts, Honestly, I'd still eat it. So this vegan obviously went up to make the point that we're killing animals and every single meal that involves an animal should be looked at like this. When, uh, you know, they're missing one important point. Yogurt doesn't look like that. It looks like yogurt. So we don't have to be reminded of the animals that killed whenever we want a little bite of yogurt. And most of us don't really care about the animals that die that eventually become our food. So it's going to be an uphill battle if you ever try to convince me to care about that stuff because I don't. Well, I'm joined now by the director of the charity, Viva, who made the ad, Juliet Gillatley. Well, Juliet, I've got to be honest, that's one of the most disgusting things I think I've ever had to watch. It's also one of the most disingenuous. It's a yoghurt, for goodness sake. Why are you making ads like that about a yoghurt? And we got vegan teacher's sister here. Let her cook. I'm sorry, I don't believe that that's the most dis disgusting thing in your editorial career that you've Pretty much seen. one of them, no, I've got to be honest. I'm, I'm sorry, it's a pantomime style, it's obviously a parody, it's obviously fake blood. Um, you know, over three million people saw it. Um, but what's your and, point? And the, and the, well, the point is, we went into and investigated dairy farming mm. and blew apart the notion that these animals are in idyll. Most, one, of, one in five of the animals and supplying people like that were zero graze. This means they never saw a blade of grass. Mm. And I went, so I went in myself to check this out and they're in filthy conditions. The male calves taken away and shot or knifed in the throat because they don't produce milk. The mothers, when their milk production went down, killed. So there's a lot of death. Yeah, again, I think most people already know this. Everybody knows that animals have to die to get the meat that makes it to our plates, right? That's that's common knowledge. I think everybody knows this. I don't think anybody is just learning this today over here like, oh shit, my steak was a cow at one point. Oh no, I have blood on my hands. No, nobody acts like that. This is common knowledge. Everybody knows that animals die to make the food that we eat. And again, I, I don't know what else to say other than we just don't care. This is just how nature works. There's always going to be animals killing other animals. So even if you were to get rid of these factories that produce a ton of steak and a ton of chicken and just all the meats that we eat, then, bro, the hunter population is going to go up. We're just going to start hunting them by spear or bow or gun. It's just that's just how it's going to go. That's just the order of business, you know? And let's travel over to the Amazon rainforest. Do you think the jaguars and the tigers and just the predators out there are going to stop killing the cow and the horses and all the other animals and all the prey? You think that's going to stop? Uh, no, animals die everywhere, and I think these vegans are pretty out of touch with how nature works. They want things to be kumbaya and perfect, but that's just not realistic. Before the factories and the hunters even existed, the animal kingdom was still the animal kingdom. There were still animals killing each other, so, you know, use your brain. In the day, well, let me ask you, let me ask you, this. Let me ask you this. What do you think happens in the wild? There we go, Piers. How do you think animals eat? You British baby. What species are you talking about? Well, you're, about? Very, you're very concerned about the protection of animals, but if you go to the African bush, animals eat each other all day long in the most savage, primeval way. Why aren't you campaigning about that? Yeah, Why don't you go and protect animals from other animals? Yeah, listen, my degree is zoology. I know quite a lot about animals. And so they, you see they the are not, and they are my not TikTok pigs, feed, all I see all day pigs, are lions pigs, destroying gazelles' Come heads. on, they're not, which is a bit more gory than that. They're not 
It's factory real life. Farmed. They're not factory farmed. Mm. These animals never see sunlight. They never graze a blade of grass. Mm. It's obscene. I don't think even you would agree with that. Bro, but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, they're still dead. They still get killed. So, I mean, which one is more humane? The one that's killing them quicker or the one that's killing them slower by eating them alive? I'd say the less humane version is eating them alive. That's a way slower death. At least the factory is just like, boom, chop your head off. Well, I always, my problem with vegans is this. I mean, I bet you're a, you probably like almonds, do you? Oh, no, you're not going to do the almond avocado with me. No, this is boring. Just asking you, do no, you... This, it, this is boring. I'm, it no. may be boring. No, 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 I no. actually find the vegan assault on meat eaters is boring. Facts. So do you eat avocados and almonds? I'm not assaulting anybody. Do you eat them? Anybody. Do you eat them? I eat them from Spain. So you do? You eat avocados Spain, and almonds? Spain, because the issues that you talk and, and about... Do you, and do you drink... About the What bees, kind of milk do you drink? You're talking about the murder... What kind of milk do you drink? You talk about the murder... Soya. Soya, okay. Yeah. So, you talk about the murder of bees in other interviews. Yes, because vegans don't, don't care. care. But you don't care about the billions no. of calves and no. chicks and piglets. I understand. So you're a complete hypocrite. No, I'm not. You are pigs. No, the hypocrites are the vegans no, who munch not. away on almonds and, and their avocados and no. stuff. They don't give a damn about billions of bees getting annihilated. Yeah, that's absolutely Because the bees rubbish. are the little guys. It's and I had this conversation each time because that's the hypocrisy. Okay, this conversation derailed quick. They're talking about bees now. I don't give a shit. Care. You're obsessed with this no, because you think it catches I am a out. proud Listen, and happy pears, meat and yogurt pears, eater. We're in the when sixth... When you try and make out this yogurt is the most evil thing that anyone pears, can eat in the world, I think you're bonkers, pears, Juliet. we're in the sixth mass extinction. We're living it now. You're behind you're behaving like a news anchor on I'm Don't the, Look I'm Up. The, I'm in the what? You're behaving like a news anchor on what the film extinction? Don't Look Up. What We're extinction? in the sixth mass extinction. You're deflecting all the time from the The world is not going to end you because I... You are trying I, to deflect Because I eat a muller yoghurt. Look, what? Animals are factory farmed. You're trying to deflect Look, from the fact the world's still here. that veganism protects the environment. Juliet, we're still here. We are, but how Nobody's much longer extinct. have we got? You've got kids. You must care about the climate crisis. I let my kids eat meat. I let them eat yoghurt. And you know what? I don't think it's evil. You must care about the climate crisis and you must be aware that the University of Oxford has specifically stated that a vegan diet, it protects the really? environment. Really? But you just it said, you, you, just said you eat your... You said it you really, got your eat it, almonds or avocados from Spain. Which one? Oh, shit. <laughs> For those who don't understand the point he just made, most almonds i believe are flown by plane and that pollutes the environment as we all know bro private jets and planes are awful for the environment so she's basically a hypocrite for eating almonds but then worrying about the climate crisis as she says so from spain which one both i don't eat almonds actually. how do they get here Avocados. how do they get here boat Boat. Really? Yeah. You sure? Yes, I am sure. You sure? I am absolutely sure. Really? And how do you think most vegans get most of their almonds and avocados from California? And how do you boat? think most no, they meat eaters get their No, they don't. Their, their they don't avocado. get them from a boat. They get <laughs> them on planes. Meat eaters get their and avocados. they get them on planes which guzzle up the environment. Do you eat avocados? Yes. But you care about all these millions of bees being No, killed. I care about your hypocrisy about no. the little guys. Rubbish. I love British people, bruh. Good heavens. Rubbish. Yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this video. I don't think they're really getting anywhere with this. I think Piers already successfully trolled her, and she's just mad now. And, and now he's even kind of feeding into the anger a little bit. He seems a little angry too, so this is just kind of a mess by this point. But vegans, if you have any great points you want to make in the comments down below, definitely let me know. I mean, listen, I've always been... I've always had an open ear to veganism. I've always listened, but... uh yeah, I'm st still a meat eater, and I probably will always be. But if you ever want to try to convert me, then feel free.